Hey, hey, lovely. Welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by. So, yes, today my face is there. Oh, natural. Take it in. Take it in. <laughs> Already put the contacts in. But, um, yes, I am doing my first tutorial today. Yay! Very exciting. Okay, so, yes, I'm going to get ready and show you my routine and show you how I apply my makeup and hopefully you'll get something out of this okay so here we go so first I have my Smashbox primer which right now I'm using a sample size just to get rid of it but it's the uh, photo finish I guess is what is it a quarter of an ounce so let's get to that just put a little bit on the hand and smooth it out I love this primer it feels amazing and I've already sprayed on another primer one that I made myself a water primer so I can show you guys that later and then right now the eye primer that I'm loving is this Ulta Beauty tinted eye primer and the shade is, here is it? I think it's champagne um, it, yeah tinted eye primer okay satin blush I'll just take a little bit, dot her on the back of my hand. Oop, that was a lot. <laughs> we'll work with it. And it gives you a really pretty color. Sometimes I leave it as my highlight, or sometimes I'll go over it with another color. I'll decide what I want to do with that today. But you see, it gives you like a really pretty kind of golden -y color, kind of champagne. I'm just dab it on my finger. Oop, a little bit under the eye there. Dab it on with the finger, dab it on with the finger. Okay, so I'm going to go in and set this with this buxom eyeshadow that I have. Like my little kind of neutrally color. I'll link it down below what the color is, but this is the color right here. I'm just going to grab my brush and kind of dot it in there a little bit and just take it and place it on the eye I'm not going to put it on the brow bone in case I decide to keep that color as a highlight I'm not sure yet like to do as I go along okay so you can see that right there and then I am going to grab my own oh, Okay, so I'm going to grab my Naked 2 palette. Here we go. One of my favorites. Actually, this was my first palette, period, high-end or otherwise. So, you see, it's well-loved. You see, I really like the, um, the shades. Oh, it's kind of rubbed off. The Booty Call shade. Half-Baked. Tease. And what's this one? busted so maybe later I'll do a tutorial with that but right now I'm just gonna hit up my crease with tees and the front brush out okay so I'm gonna grab a little tease tap off my brush and go into my crease and just blend that out try not to make those crazy faces that we make when we do our eyes y'all know what I'm talking about and go back in there get a little bit more for the other side and blend it out just you know the regular old back and forth windshield wiper motion and now I am going to grab my new color pop shadow in the color huh, fooling around very adorable I don't know if you can see it there fooling around and it's like a red kind of shimmery shade it's very very pretty I'm just gonna go in with my finger swirl it around a little bit I'm gonna tap it on right onto the lid 
and I'm going to build it until I get the color that I want. Okay, it looks pretty pigmented on the camera, but it doesn't look the same in my mirror. So I'm just going to dab that on a bit. I think that's good and then I'm going to go in on the other eye try to come back so you can see me right just using my middle finger just dabbing it on building as I go and this is really a great product there's no fallout or anything but Sometimes the finger is not as accurate as we need it to be. So I'm going to go back in with the Urban Decay palette, the Naked, with the Tease color and just clean up the crease area right there. I don't want it all the way up there. And I'm going to go back in the other eye and just grab it right here. So I don't want that up there. Okay, now I'm going to go back with my Urban Decay palette and the Naked 2. And I'm going to grab this shade, Snake Bite. I'm going to use that in my outer corner. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of my brush and tap it off. And just kind of play with it right there. Kind of dot it on the end. And blend it out. And I'm going to go back in with the brush, grab some more, and do the other eye. Blend it out. Just on the outer corner. Okay. So now, I'm going to go in with my liner, which this is the liner that I'm feeling right now. And it's so interesting that... I actually get more compliments when I'm wearing this liner by itself than when I am wearing a full face of makeup. So this is just a Sephora brand liner in the color Gold Digger. Wait, there we go. I'm bringing it a little closer so you can see. And please ignore my nails. I'm doing them tomorrow. <laughs> it's just a gold, regular gold liner. I'm going to go in and line the bottom just to give me like a gold base and as you can see it's not extremely bright oh, I did the thing with my mouth trying to do my eyes don't mind me okay and now I'm going to go in because I'm a glitter girl then my Urban Decay heavy metal glitter liner in the color of Midnight Cowboy I don't know, it's kind of blurry, but there we go. I'm just going to trace that line with my glitter. I love me some glitter. There you go. And going on the other eye. Just really make it pop. Okay, so now what I'm going to do grab one of my trusty beloved wipes just the equate brand i think it's like it's a lavender scented nighttime soothing towelettes i'm going to clean up the edges i love these they smell really good let me just grab that off my finger now i'm gonna clean up out here we don't have all that extra on the side. We don't want all that business going on. Just going to clean that up. Clean up under there. There we go. Okay, now we can get rid of this naked too. <laughs> and now, what I'm going to do is correct my under eyes. And lately, I've just been using this. Oh, man, I've used it so much it's rubbed off. I might have to link into the comments below what it is. But it's just like a dark circles kind of corrector. It's 
pink. And it's one of the colors is good to correct under the eye. I'm just going to do like an upside down triangle. Color that on. Like that. Do the other eye. And guys, so guess what I forgot. You know, I'm a little... I'm going to get there. This is my first tutorial, so bear with me and don't mind this. Wait, maybe we'll blend this out first. I just blend it out with my ring finger. Underneath. I don't completely blend it out because we're going to cover it with concealer. Okay, but yes, let me show y'all now what I forgot. <laughs> Mascara time. So I use this um, L'Oreal Voluminous Base just to coat and to give me a brighter color so I just go in on the bottom first so it doesn't get all over the place it's just like a, a white coat mm-hmm I'm doing the mouth thing again y'all good thing you can't see it ah, ah. we are up close and personal Yes, mama. Alright, so you're just going to coat that one. I'm going to go back in and grab some for the other eye. Wow, we were really up close and personal. Like, I'm in all up in your personal space, ain't I? Ah! Hey, gotta love it, right? Oh, okay, so had a little boo-boo there, but don't worry. You just let it dry a little bit, and then I'll come right off. So you're just going to leave that there. And keep it moving. Now I look nuts, right? With the with stuff under my eyes going in. I got the concealer. Just get your life, right? Yeah, get your life. <laughs> okay, so the mascara I use is the Benefit Very Real. And I love it. I, so I'm a very colorful girl. So this is in the shade. Wait, does it say shade? What's the blue color? I don't see a, a shade on it. And I threw out the box a while ago that's what it looks like so i put the base on to make the blue stand out more i'm just gonna go in with that blue it looks way better like outside in natural light but i think you should be able to see what it looks like by the time i'm done putting it on i just go on the bottom i'm gonna go in on the top I don't do like sometimes I'll curl my lashes, but like they really don't need all that. They kind of curl on their own. Okay, so can you see the blue? Yes. I'm gonna go in on the other one, hit that off. I'm working on the facial. <laughs> okay, and just go into the top. Hit that off. That white still trying to peek through, y'all. She don't know she got to go. Okay, there we go. Please excuse the big white spot. I'm just going to hit off the bottom lashes with this little NYX the Skinny Mascara. This is just a regular black. Oh, wait, no. Actually, first, I'm going to do my water my waterline with this NYX Wonder Pencil. Love it. It's just a nude shade just to open up the eye. Oh, wait, you can't see me because I lean down. Now, how am I showing you what I'm doing off camera, right? Ain't that, ain't that a mess? So we're just going to go in with that on our waterline. Not really for color as much as just to make the eyes look a little bigger. It's just a nude shade. There we go. Okay, let's see. Get this white dried off. Perfect. See, there you go. Good as new, huh? Okay, so now we are going to grab our MAC Concealer. This is the Pro Longwear Concealer, and I 
am, I think NC, oh no, NW35, which I don't know, I think they might have bagged me the wrong color because it looks a little bit light, and that actually is not the color of my foundation, so I'm going to have to check that out. I'm just going to grab my trusty little makeup companion here and pop a little bit on there. It's just so like a, a pump bottle. I just put a little bit just to start with. Take my finger and I'm going to dab it on. Yeah, this one looks a little light. This is actually the first time I'm using this one. So I might have to take it back. We'll see how it comes out. And I have a little spot right there. I'm going to dab some right there. And then we're going to go in on the next eye. And just with our finger, apply it in that same kind of triangular get up there. And I'm just going to use one of my my uh, faux Archie's brushes. This is one I got, and yeah, you can tell it's a little love. I got this set off of Amazon. It was a set of 10, and my favorite color is purple, so you know how happy I was when I got it. So it's just one of the, the smaller brushes. I'm going to take it and blend it in. Just do my little circular motion and blend this one in. So guys, I'm really happy right now. Like I've been saying and saying and saying, yes, I'm going to do a tutorial video. And I haven't yet. All I've really done is unboxings. So I'm really happy to be doing this. So. But please excuse me if it doesn't come out like all the pros. Because like I said, this is my first time. So, you know. Hey. Not my first time doing makeup, clearly. But my first tutorial. And I got to remember to stay on camera for y'all, right? <laughs> okay, so now. After we drop everything. Let's put that away so it's not in the way. What we are going to do. Is grab our foundation and one of the foundations that I'm in love with right now is by pure it's called bear it all and it is in the shade deep it's their 12 hour four in one skin perfecting foundation if you can see that packaging is kind of cute too it's like kind of holographic so I like that and with this a little bit goes a long way so I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my tray and start with that and this gives you really good coverage so you don't need to be like going in going in with a like a whole lot going on ham and everything so all I do is just dot with my finger dot my face dot 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 now I'm not into all that setting this setting that setting the other thing because I don't like matte really. I'm not a matte girl. I prefer dewy. And so this one is kind of semi dewy. So like if I go in with all of those powders and stuff, I'm going to have a matte look. So I just add a little bit more. This actually might end up being extra. So I just dot my face, get my dot on, dot, dot, dot. And you see, a lot of the stuff that I do, I apply with my finger. The finger is one of the best ways to apply your makeup. Now I'm just going to get that off my finger right quick with my little wipe. These things come so in handy when you're doing your face. Now I look like I got chicken pox, right? A little like brown chicken pox. <laughs> and I'm going to grab my current love my my foundation brush it's the morphe for m439 it looks like this and it blends beautifully and it does not mess with your coverage it keeps you like you know if you want your full coverage it's not gonna destroy that and i didn't put any right here because i don't want that makeup mustache going on because girl that ain't cute so what I'm going to do is after I, and I blend in circular motions, just going all around the face. But after I blend all of this 
in, I'm going to take the excess and do my upper lip. Go up the nose, just go in a circular motion all over that nose. Now, this is the tricky part because since I do my eyeshadow first, you know, you cannot get the foundation on your lid. So, got to be kind of careful with that. can get a little tricky. You just keep going in those circular motions. Circle, circle, circle. Circles are your friend. And be sure not to mess up your eye color, girl. Okay, so now I'm going to round it up. Going up to the forehead, continuing my circles, going all around, just blending that in really good. And I'm gonna go right here, make sure everything is good. And if you see, this foundation like kind of gives the appearance like you're not even wearing foundation. This foundation is the best, like I am in love with it right now. And just keep blending that out. And now, we're going to hit up our upper lip. See? There you go. There was enough product left to hit that off. Now, I'm just going to check myself in the mirror because I can't use the camera as a mirror now. I'm about to go out, y'all. That ain't going to be official. All right. So, we are blended. And let's move on. So... I am going to start with my cheek color, which is right now, I am loving this. It's an Ulta Velvet Blush, and it's in the shade Majestic, and it's kind of like a mauve It's beautiful. It goes on really nice, and this thing was only like $9. Like, you can't go wrong. I'm just going to die. Okay, and the brush I'm using is the Real Techniques um, Blush Brush. So, there's the real techniques. Wait. Blush brush. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of light. I love it a lot. So, I'm just going to lightly, lightly, lightly dab because this color is really pigmented. So, I'm going to start from the smile, start with the apple, and just gently circle. I'm going to dab really light. Hit that off, smile, and do our circle. Then I'm going to blend it in. Nothing crazy, right? Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. So, I am wearing black and white today, so I thought I would make my little red pop a little bit, you know? Okay, so now we will go in with our highlight. And I am taking this Ofra highlighter. It's in the shade Rodeo Drive. This is one that I think I got it with the BoxyCharm. I was super excited because I don't have anything from Ofra. So this will be like my first experience with Ofra. Let's grab our fan brush. So I left the one that I normally use in the bathroom. Don't mind me. So I'm going to, this is my first time using this one. It's a Jumbo Kabuki fan from Crown Brush. This one I got also in one of my subscription boxes. I get all these subscription boxes. I don't remember which one is which. I'm just going to do like a light dab at the head of it. I'm going to go in on the nose, on the tip of the nose. Get a little dab. The Cupid's bow. Dab again. I'm going to hit off that chin. There we go. Yes. Look at her glow. That's what I'm talking about. Get a little bit more. Hit up under the eye a little bit. A little bit. And then just hit right here off. Do that C shape. And then go for the other side. And we are highlighted. I'm still trying to decide if I want to leave. I think I want to leave this as it is. Again, that's just that um, 
that shade, I mean, the, um, the primer, the Ulta primer that I use, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm feeling that right now. So we are highlighted. And what I am going to do is get rid of that brush, first of all. I'm thinking, yeah, I think I want to, I think I want to leave the under eye. I'm trying to decide if I wanted to put, so, oh, y'all, didn't I say I was going to do the lower lash mascara? What a mess, right? Just apply that right quick. Hee hee hee. I forgot. Okay, you can't see me. Just get a little extra character down there. Nothing crazy. Now, I am going to apply my new ColourPop Lippy. This is the first time I'm trying it out. It's an Ultra Satin Lip. And it is in the shade Panda. So we are going to see if we like it. Lipstick. Depending on how it dries out, because I'm a glossy girl, so I may add gloss. Oh, you can't see me, silly, silly. Just line in the top. Oh yes, I did already put on my lip primer, and I just used the like the basic um, Ulta lip primer. Do a little trick there so we don't have makeup on the teeth because we got to be cute and we can't be embarrassing ourselves. And I see I overdrew a little bit, so I'm gonna clean that up. With the trusty white. Slide it out. What do you think, y'all? Does this lip look okay with this? Oh, we got a little extra right there. I don't know. I might gloss it up. Let's see. Seems to be drying kind of matte. So let's grab our gloss. use this um bare minerals marvelous moxie and it's in the shade a lister just a little gloss shine it up as you see i love the glitter and i love the gloss this is the first time i'm using this gloss too like who even knows how long i might have had it but whatever a little doe foot applicator i'm just gonna slap a little bit on it Yeah, I'm feeling that. I like the gloss. Just rub them together a little bit. Voila. There we have it. So I'm kind of in a rush because I'm kind of late to this event that I'm going to. So I don't have time to do all that strobing, contour, and all that business. But I will do it later. So we will do our piece de resistance. And like I said, I don't use setting powders. And the the I'm just using this one just to finish it up. This one's the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Mixin, Mist and Fix. 
and but I the one that I'm really using right now is the Urban Decay um, chill setting spray because it keeps you more matte I mean more, more matte it doesn't mess up your dewiness it doesn't mattify you so just gonna get some sprays there we go and we are done what do you think guys you like it hmm <laughs> up close and personal Y'all got to get to know me, right? So now I'm just about to go get my dress on. It's just a nice little black and white number. And then I am going to adorn myself with my jewelry. You know, earrings, necklace, rings, bracelets. You know how we girls roll. You know how it is. So yeah, about to go get ready. Thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button and that like button. See you later, lovelies. Peace out. Lovely, my bad. I forgot that I have wanted to use this highlighter because it is everything right now. This is the Milk Makeup Stick, the holographic stick, and it is in the shade Supernova, if you can see that because it's kind of clear. It's just like a kind of twist up thing. I just, again, like to go in with my face. Get some on there and I just dab, dab, dab. I'm going to dab up her. Dab a little right there. Go back in. Get some on that side. Yes, she is purple, y'all. And she is holographic and she's killing it. Get a little bit on the nose. A little Cupid's belt. Did that happen, y'all? After I did the finger thing. Mm -mm. I'm done. A little right there. And a little bit more. Right there. Now what we are going to do is blend, blend, blend. And when I use this one, I just use my finger to blend it. Like, just go in and dab it. Go in and dab. Dab, dab, dab. That highlighter is killing it, y'all. Yes. And we're going to dab that one out. Bam. Now we got it going. Bam. So we're just going to go back in with our set and spray, our MFE, and just give some spritzes. lovely so let me show y'all what happens when you're in a rush you forget stuff so my piece de resistance again remember i am a glitter lover dun, 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 the naked illuminated and this is in the shade luminous it's supposed to be a highlighter but what i do with it grab my little kabuki which is just a regular sephora it was a blue one they i think they were discontinuing them pull it out Swirl it on around, get that brush nice and, and I just apply it here, so I get my little sparkle on, and I apply it, so you can see me, I apply it right there, all in that area right there, and it's kind of hard to see on camera, but in person, it looks amazing, so you'll see like all of the glitter happening on my neck, okay. For real, for real, this time, I am out. I'm done. Gotta go. Thanks for watching. You know what? This lipstick might have to go.